Hello, the new tough blocks have arrived and of course you want to show them off in your next build. But you're still looking for other blocks that go well with tough? Well, you've come to the right place because today I want to share some inspiring 121 color schemes with you. I'm Dippy Blether and as an artist I love color, but it's not always easy to work out a good block palette. So in this video I will show you how to use color theory to find the best color schemes for tough. And for good measure, I have thrown in a few sample builds so you can see the theory in action because the proof of the pudding is in the building um, or something like that. Anyway, so what color is tough? Well, <laughs> that may sound like a silly question, but stick with me for a second, okay? I had a really close look at tough in my last video and I found out that it's not actually a true gray. This is a very, very dark shade of olive green. And because of that, tough has a much warmer feel to it than regular stone. So let's keep that in mind for later. Because of that green undertone, tough is perfect for gradients with grey and with green. Later on I will show you how perfectly you can create subtle shadows with this block. But for now, have a quick look at that ruined tower up there on the hill. And that's just a small example of what tough can do for your gradients. But in this video, I want to focus on more colourful combos. The first colour scheme I want to look at is complementary. It's a bit of a classic. It gives you strong colour contrasts and it really pops. Complementary color schemes combine colors from opposite sides of the color wheel. So here is the color range of pixels in tough blocks and roughly speaking the midpoint is about here in the green area. Now if you look opposite you see red. So all these red blocks should theoretically go well with tough. And I included slightly orange and slightly plum colored blocks because tough has a range of tones so we have a bit more choice. But of course not everything in this range works equally well so I've picked a few favorites for you. Let me start with a surprising discovery. Look at this cherry wood. I would have never tried this combination if I hadn't looked at the color wheel. But it's a perfect partner. I put them together in this little pattern over here and oh, it's such a warm and gentle feel. I'm kind of thinking fantasy cottage core. I mean, this is super cute. And here is the extreme opposite. In this little wall design, I have used brighter reds like red concrete and wool and so forth. This is a very bold and punchy look. Can you imagine this as a castle interior? Even the glazed terracotta looks good with this and that's a miracle. But a word of warning, because it's such a powerful color combination, you have to be careful to get the balance right. So I always try to have one dominant color and one support color. So here it's the red as the main color and the tough is the support act. Come with me round the back and look at the palette for this build. So we have quite a range of greyish blocks for shading and for visual sculpting. But you also have a lot of different shades of red that you can use to create the illusion of light and shadow in your build. So for example here behind this lantern I used a lighter red and under the arches I have placed netherrack to give the impression of a strong shadow. This has so much potential. But perhaps that look is a bit too much for an everyday build. Perhaps the darker reds are more useful in this color scheme. So let's have a look at this house. I used the full grey and green gradient because tough is a perfect bridge block. So I have a lot of blocks to give this building depth. Look at the shadows back here under the windowsills and these recesses. And the mangrove and nether bricks give a subtle hint of color and interest to this building but they are not overpowering. And then you have the green blocks that blend so well because the tough is already a kind of greeny block. And again, come round the back. Here's the full block palette for this build. If this color scheme is something that inspires you, you can pause the video now and take a screenshot. The next common color scheme is the triad. It's basically an equal sided triangle on your color wheel. So tough is at the green tip of the triangle and the other points go towards the blue and the more orangey reds. Here are all the blocks in that color range and at first glance I have to say I'm not a huge fan of this color scheme. Especially the blue blocks don't really convince me. For me personally this is too busy. So I have not done any sample builds with this but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. So let's quickly move on to my favorite color scheme, the split complementary. This color scheme uses the complementary colors, so red, and the colors either side of the main color. So you move towards turquoise on this side and towards yellow on the other side. And as long as you stick with warmer shades, you find tons of fantastic color combinations here. Just look at all those beautiful blocks. 
Now, I'm not alone in thinking this is a cool color scheme because this is probably the most Mojang approved color scheme there is. The new trial chambers are literally made of weathered copper and tough. So over here, I made a little floor pattern with copper, tough and mangrove and it looks bold and interesting and I'd say it really works. And look at this, this is a pattern with the yellow terracotta, mangrove and tough. And again, it's quite colorful and a bit bold, but it's also really well balanced. Now I have built a bigger build with this color scheme, but I'll show it to you at the end. First, let's talk about high contrast colors. Sometimes you need to create an edge or a border, or you simply want something to stand out. And to do that, you need a strong contrast. So there are two ways you can create contrast. One, you can use a big difference between light and dark, or you can use a strong color contrast. And here is my wall of contrasts. I've lined up some ideas for contrast blocks that will go well with the tough. And whichever block you choose, just keep in mind, as long as you choose a warm block, you're probably gonna be okay. So let's start with light and dark. Instead of using white, which is quite cold, I have tried to use bone blocks and quartz and mushroom stems, and that looks so much nicer. The next contrast blocks are from the color schemes that we've talked about earlier. So let's just move past and go to the other end. And have you noticed how dark tough is? So dark edges actually don't really show up that well. I built this really classic simple wall design and it has a tranquility to it that I really, really like. Let's go around the back and look at the color palette. So you can see it's all very simple. I followed the 60-30-10 design rule. So 60% of the wall, the main neutral color, is warm whites. 30% is tough for contrast. And 10% is weathered copper and warped planks for the highlights. So, I promised you a big demo, didn't I? Well, here it is. This house uses split complementary color schemes with tough as the main neutral color, dark red shades for contrast, and glimpses of turquoise and warm yellow as highlights. And it also tries to use the tough's potential for shading and includes quite a few details. I'm not sure what to call this style, but I really like it. And if you want to try something like this, here is the full block palette round the back. Have a look at it. This is what I used. And that was that. I hope you found some inspiration. Let me know in the comments what you're going to build with the new blocks and check out the new video on how to use tough gradients if you're not sure how to do that. Tough can be a powerful tool in your build palette. Happy building and have a hippy dippy day. Bye bye!